Now to a murder investigation we've been tracking since last week. Today, a suspect appeared in court to face a judge accused of gunning down a father on a local basketball court. The suspect was on the run for a couple of days before police found him yesterday at the beach. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell was in the courtroom today and joins us now live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Today, the courtroom was full of the victim's family and friends. We didn't see much emotion from them today, and we also didn't even see the defendant's face. An accused killer allowed to shield his face from news cameras as he was arraigned on charges, including murder. Police tell us Cyrell Grace shot Marcelo John Francois Thursday night on the basketball court in New Bedford's Harrington Park. Several witnesses to the event uh, described the shooting that took place in the argument uh, occurred between the victim and this defendant, Cyrell Grace. The uh, argument escalated. Mr. Grace uh, took out a uh, pistol and fired it into uh, Mr. Francois, uh, hitting him twice, once in the chest, once in the stomach. Police arrested Grace yesterday afternoon at Horseneck Beach. After his arraignment, we found Travis Avora on the basketball court where his friend was killed. I've been here every day. Do you feel closer to him here? I don't know. It's just so tough. He's a good friend to me. Yeah. A good friend to everybody. Avora tells us Francois was the father of two who loved to rap and play basketball. He was 19 years old. At this point, police have not commented specifically on any possible motives. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll tell you how the victim's friends are trying to help his family. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. We're also working new developments tonight in a deadly shooting in New Bedford. One teenager is killed, another teen is charged with his murder. And new at 6, how friends of the victim are reaching out to try and help his family. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. The victim's friends tell us they are raising money to try to help pay with for funeral expenses and to help raise his children. They say so far they are very thankful for the outpouring of support. On this rainy day, the basketball court where Marcelo John Francois used to play is empty, except for some candles, an old basketball hoop, and his friend, Travis Avora. It hasn't all hit me yet, to be real. Francois was shot twice, once in the stomach and once in the chest. Today, his accused killer, Cyrell Grace, was charged with murder and held without bail. Now, Francois's friends are raising money to help with funeral expenses. Yesterday, they hosted a charity basketball tournament in honor of one of Francois's passions. We ended up getting like 1475 or something. So, I mean, that, that was like probably the only thing that really like made me happy. That put like a smile on my face. There are other fundraisers in the works so Francois's friends can help take care of his kids too. He always talked about his kids, made sure his kids were good. He just, that was just the main thing. And he always worried about his family too. He always wanted to make sure everybody was safe. Marcelo John Francois was 19 years old. Cyril Grace is due back in court in July. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.